Come here. You wanna go fishing? You wanna go fishing? Oh yeah, I wanna go fishing too. What's up online outdoorsmen? Carmen and I are going fishing today. Yeah, so that means I'm gonna be fishing from the bank and I'm actually gonna go to a lake that I like to go in my kayak, but I wanna see if I can catch them from the bank there. Before we get started, I'd like to thank everyone so much uh, for tuning into my channel. Now, all the new subscribers I've had over the last couple months has been really great. I mean, I don't have a ton and I don't get a ton of views, but to me it's a lot and I never really expected really to get any. It's more just for fun. So thank you all so much. If you ever have any feedback um, or any suggestions, go ahead and throw them in the comments. Um, I'll certainly take those into account and I'll try to do everything I can to you know get you guys the kind of content you like. So thanks again. We will catch you on the water here in a few seconds. Here, let's start casting around and see if we can catch a fish. Snakes, vultures, and poison ivy. Three of my favorite things in life. I'm probably gonna get poison oak and poison ivy. I'm just walking around through all this crap. Ah, oh, well, part of being an outdoorsman. All right, online outdoorsman. We are gonna go ahead and hop in the car and go to the other side of the lake because we're not having any luck over here, which is weird because it looks really good in certain areas. Seen some beds on the bank. Uh, but let's, uh, let's hit it. Go for a stop recording. There's bass on that bed. Holy, he'll come back. Keep your eyes peeled. There might be more. There's one on that bed, Colin. You got him? Nice. Hey, Colin, is this your first bed fish ever? Yeah, little tiny guy. Nice, dude. Well, that was cool. So, uh, when we were walking back, we noticed all of a sudden we saw fish on a bed. And then there was two fish, two different beds. So Colin just went ahead and cast it up to it with a Ned rig. Boom, he got her. That hard work paid off for this little 14 incher. Uh oh, we got a dog coming in hot. <laughs> Licking it? Oh, tasty. Okay, so as you can see, you have to work your butt off in order to catch fish on beds. A lot of times it can be very frustrating. A lot of times people will give up, but you just gotta keep working them. Apparently, that fish does not like lizards because that's what I got her to bite the first time. And if you were wondering, she did not have the hook in her mouth, so that's good. This fish won't go for Colin's net rig, and it won't go for my lizard, and it won't go for a little swim bait. But I'll bet you it goes for this little blue and orange Havoc Pit Boss. I've had so much luck with this bait on beds, because it looks like a big old bluegill. Mm. Oh my gosh. 
fish, this fish. This fish, this fish, this fish. This fish is killing me. Last chance. Put back on my go-to bed bait. See what happens. She seems to hate this thing. Put the orange side up because it's easier for me to see the bait than the blue side. The blue kind of blends in with the, the bottom. So close, dude. So close. Patience, patience, patience. Two minutes to catch this fish. I think I can get her. I think I can get her. I've been working this, bait, this fish for probably an hour. And she's not even that big. I just really want to demonstrate how bed fishing can be very frustrating, but worth it in the end. Come bite it. She's bit it so many times. She just won't eat it. This is painful, bro. This is so painful. She really doesn't like the bluegill color, but I think I needed to change profile just a little bit, like a jig or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, crunch time, baby. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, you know how good it feels to catch a fish you worked on for over an hour and she was barely hooked. Oh my gosh, it's not even big, dude. But this, this fish means so much to me. It's not even big. I worked on this fish for way too long. Sorry for the wind. Thanks for watching. I gotta go. Leave a like, comment, or leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Getting her back on her bed so she can produce more fish. All right, I think I uh, officially pissed off Colin because I took forever. I worked on the first fish for probably 30 minutes and caught it. Worked on the second fish for at least an hour and caught it. But that just goes to show how much work you have to put in when you're bed fishing. And unfortunately, these were small fish, but if you're looking for a big one, I mean, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to have to rotate baits. You're going to have to throw stuff that look like bluegill. You have to try to piss that fish off a little bit. Eventually, they'll bite, but it's a lot of work. And I can't imagine having to work on a 10-pounder. I'd lose it. I'd lose it. But thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions, um, and uh, we'll catch you next time.